Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you about how to use saving sessions and jobs and the differences between them. On the forum there's been some confusion, the fact that when someone has tried to recall more than one job they're surprised to find that you cannot do that and one job cannot be added to another one in the queue. So I'm going to tell you why you can't do that and what you should do instead. So first of all, let me create um, a couple of jobs. I'm just going to do one here. I'm just going to add um, <clears throat> a few shots uh, from here. And uh, let's go down here a bit and uh, pick some more. And uh, we'll put that one in. And um, I'll put that one in too. OK, now I'm going to. Um, you go to the page editor and just um, add a bit of text in the middle so we know what's what. And um, I'm going to call this um, job stroke session one. Okay, there it is uh, clearly in the middle of the page so we know which job we're looking at. Click done. Now I'm going to save this both as a job and a session. So I go to save. And I'm going to first of all pick job, and I'm just going to call this uh, video one and save that. Okay, and I'm going to say I'm going to save the whole job, including the images. Right, I'm now going to save the same thing as a session. So I click here, it's on session already, and again I'm going to call that uh, video one and save that. Right. OK, I'm going to clear the queue. I'm going to create another job. Right. Here I'm going to um, use fit to page to fill the complete page. And I'm going to pick a different folder and pick um, some images from that to make uh, a couple of prints of a different size. So I'll put that image in there. Um, I'm going to Make it fit the page, so I put the crop scissors on. OK, now find another image. I think I'll pick one down here. <coughs> there's, there's one there, add that to the queue. So we've now got two pages with two images on. Right, and I'm going to put some text on that so we know what's what. Uh, click the text button, click there. That text has remained, so I'm going to call that um, so job session two. Now so that it's on both pages, I'm going to click link to and all the prints in the queue. OK. And that means that text is on that next page too. Right, done. OK, I'm going to do this. Now one other thing I was going to do is um, change the printer. In fact, I'm going to now going to recall um, a different printer. So I'll find that set on a printer setup. So I'm going to recall a different printer. And I'm going to, instead of having an Epson R800 with um, smooth pearl paper, I'm going to put, pick an R1900 with smooth gloss. And do that. Right. That has just rotated the page. Uh, it's not important. I'm just going to put that back. And um, you can see that uh, everything is as it was before, except we've now got an R1900. And this profile here is for an R1900 with Ilford smooth gloss paper, tells you here. OK, I'm just going to save that now. So I'll save that as a job, first of all. And I'm going to call it um, video 2 and save that and save the whole job. I'm also going to save it as a session. It's already selected on sessions. And I'm going to again call that video 2 as a session. Save that. OK. Right. I'm going to clear the queue completely. Now, I'm going to recall these. First, I'm going to do them as jobs. So I'm going to recall a job. Select the jobs. And I'm looking for video, so I just type in being the word video, and it'll be pop up here. So it's I'm going to recall video one. Open that. 
and I'm going to recall the whole job, not just the settings, the whole job with all the images, and there it is. Right, great, just as we set it up in the first place, complete with text, images, a printer, and the right profile for that <coughs> printer, uh, for Ilford Smooth Pearl. Yeah. Right, let's try recalling the other job, video 2. I'm just going to put in video again, and there's video 2 job. Tells you down here, of course, what a job is all about, that it contains everything you require to recall that job, images and everything. So I'll open that. And it tells you there, because there's some images already in the queue, warning, job will clear the queue first. So I'll click job. And there we are. <clears throat> this is um, job number two. And you see we've got the R1900 printer back and all the settings and everything, the right profile and so on. OK. It's pretty obvious, I hope, by now that you cannot add job upon job in a queue because you may well have completely different paper setup, different printer, all sorts of things. So it's not appropriate that jobs are added to one another in the queue. So the right thing to do is to recall the sessions. Let me show you. I'm going to clear the queue. And now I'm going to recall the sessions. Now, <clears throat> you see here that the R1900 is still set. So I'm, what I think I'll do, I'm going to print these uh, sessions on my R1800. So what I'm going to do is recall that printer setup. And I'm going to recall um, my printer setup for the R. 800 with my own custom profile for Ilford Smooth Pearl. There it is. Okay. It's rotated the page uh, because that's what that setup happens to do. So let's see what happens when we recall the session. So let's recall that session. Uh, select the session button. And we're looking at video. So it's video one, first of all. Right. Call that session open. There it is. It's come back. It's rotated the page correctly, and it's got those four images there. And it says job stroke session one as we set up. Right. And it's the Epson Photo R800 printer, complete with the correct profile and everything, because that's what we set before we added the images. So I'm now going to recall the other session, and uh, we'll go to that. I'll just type in the video to get down the alphabetical list a little, and we're going to recall video 2 and open that. Now, it then asks you the question, because you've already got images in the queue, it says, would you like to make a new queue or append to that queue that was already there? Well, I'm going to decide to append, because I want to print these all in one go on my R800 printer. And if we go through the pages, you'll see We've got the other twos appended. There we are. So when you want to set up some items to print and you do that in different sessions, you should save in sessions and then recall the sessions. And then you can add one session after the other to the queue and print everything in one go, rather than recalling one job at a time and having to print one job at a time. That's it. Simple. Thank you for listening.